Here it comes. Can you? Stupid reactions, you It's Corbin. You knew we meant Rithic. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Oh, juicy juicy content, content full of Rithic's juice. underwear. And pole dancing on Twitter. <laughs> and we're also on Patreon and follow an official Twitter account. Today! I'm guessing this has something to do with uh, Rithic Russian? No. I'm uh, Khan. Sweet. Uh, no, this is a. Uh, I don't know how we missed this, but this is the transformation from Rithic to his character in Super 30. Did we miss that? Yeah, we did. How did we miss that? No, because we saw the one that him transformed from war. Super 30 to, to war. war. And what? we talked about how different he had to appear. Yeah. Cool, I'm looking yeah, forward so to that. Yeah, a little short video about him uh, transforming. He, obviously, he's done a few. People are very interested in his body transformations. I wonder why. He has good body. And good underwear. Uh, <laughs> you should know, you've worn Rithic's underwear. That's true. Uh, but yeah, here we go. I like we are with her. The very first sacrifice that I had to make was to allow myself to look unfit, to look out of shape. Yeah, I'm in love with the Bihari accent because it's got such a beautiful blend of the vulnerable and the strong. It has been a long journey. I practiced uh, Bihari every day for about 2-3 hours. Another thing we used to weapon up was gibberish. It helped my vocal cords, my cheek muscles, my tongue muscle, you know, all the muscles required in uh, talk. It was uh, quite awkward and embarrassing. Crashing places when uh, your body itches. I did not just want to, you know, get closer to the character that I was aiming to portray. <coughs> I wanted to go deeper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to get rid of more of the sophistication and the urban westernized uh, grace that I have been aspiring for uh, for most of my life. You know, have your manners in place, not have the sophistication, and not have the etiquette in place. So all of this combined uh, meant that I had to break out. I had to like uh, kind of force my way through and use a device which is talking abusive language so that you open up. <laughs> So with my staff, uh, also with the uh, other actors, I continuously just spoke in Bihari because I was actually enjoying it. <laughs> when we danced, I wanted you to have a band in. I love you.
I just took to it naturally. I think it was. I really must have been a Bihari in my past life. I I swear. <laughs> Oh, and it's <laughs> I was, I was, I was, it was actually different than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more him talking about um, his physical what, what, what he had to do. To, right. Maybe he didn't really have to do much. He just had to not do what he normally did, which he I, was also covered up quite a bit with some yeah. bulky clothes. I feel like it would be, he talked about it a little bit at the beginning, um, that it must be incredibly hard for somebody who's strived his entire life to look as good as he can mm -hmm. and take care of his body mm -hmm. to just not do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, like just to just throw caution to the wind and be like, you know, I'm going to eat whatever I want. I'm not going to work out. Well, I, I can't imagine what that does in the psyche of somebody who's been fit their whole life. Cause yeah. I know, I know like if I've gotten sick and I haven't been to the gym for two or three weeks, yeah. it starts to affect me psychologically. Yeah. Uh, so, so the thought of letting it all go that way and going a couple of months, uh, that's got to be a real head game. Especially from somebody who's in the public eye <clears throat> and <laughs> has and been that fit. I mean, I've never been at that level. Oh, that fit. Yeah. To go to go from like the sexiest man alive, right. which obviously he's not not sexy, and then, obviously, but his body is no. And he didn't do a Christian Bale transformation. Oh no, he wasn't. He wasn't no. like fat, fat. No, 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 no. Um, but, but still, I, from somebody who like, Christian Bale's never been that. Never done what Rithik has. No, the closest he got was when he was a boxer and, and had to portray that. He was he was pretty. But lean. That, yeah, but that was different than his normal body. His body right, always been right. Like, not really average, average, average. Yeah. very very average. Uh, he's just always done for the role. no. Whereas Rithik has always been just freaking in glory, shape. The sexiest man alive. Yeah. The 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 guy who's prided himself on his body looking in tip top shape. Yeah. Um, that but I, I love. Been, I I enjoyed. It was a pleasant surprise to see more of his work as an actor for this. I enjoyed watching him do stuff that actors who are doing the work do. Yeah. Um, they just sit there and talk in, what, if they're doing a different accent, they sit there and talk in that accent mm -hmm. all the time. And they have to work at it if they're if it's not their normal accent, so it doesn't sound yep. strange. And obviously to our age, we can't tell the difference. Right. But I, I think from what I heard from people in India, when they saw the film, they said his, his regional accent was pretty good. It was pretty good. They had said uh, that about... Um, uh, Ranbir as well for Gully Boy that he, yeah. he he got the regional as did Priyanka for the one we saw um, with with uh, Kamini <coughs> right the which one the one where she hid plays the twins oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. she nailed the regional yeah for her character yeah um, and and I loved that's an actual exercise that I've had done and seen from a, a theater teacher I had who. One of her favorite things to do, and it's a really good thing to do, is to, to break down walls and see where people have their blocks, is to make people cuss. Because some people won't. Yeah. <coughs> it's, and it was interesting to see why he wouldn't cuss as well. Well, if it's sophistication, cussing is considered a non-sophisticated thing to do. Yeah, that was an interesting... He... <coughs> I don't know, I'm coughing so Yeah, are you okay? Yeah. That's part uh, of my peanut butter bar I've been eating, I guess I need to eat more of it. <laughs> uh, it was interesting to see what he said about that. He's like, I've been striving for like sophistication mm -hmm. my whole life, and I'm guessing this character wasn't supposed to be very sophisticated. Apparently so. Um, Smart. Yeah. But not culturally sophisticated. I guess, he, yeah, because he did come from no money, mm -hmm. and so he was he was more of yeah, a... Yeah, highly intelligent. Yeah. But lacked cultural sophistication. It'd be interesting, because obviously when... We can do it here in the other... We can tell where people are from. And yep. so I'm guessing it's that easy for Indians to figure out where people are from based off of oh, their accent. I guarantee. Accent, physical traits, Yeah, you can tell by looking yeah. if someone is more South Indian versus North Indian. Really? You? I can't, yeah. but I know they can. Yeah, that's yep. interesting. Yeah, that was really cool. There was a different side of Rithik that we haven't seen. I was more expecting just the body, but he went into more of his acting, which I enjoyed. Me too. I enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I love more of those kind. I love watching the actors doing their work. Yeah. Everything. That was so cool. That's so interesting. Yeah, let us know if there's more videos like this.